Thanks for stopping by the Sister Cousins Lifestyle Channel. My name is Sandy, and in today's video, we are doing a spring refresh, or should I say doing a reveal of a refresh that I've done in um, one of my secondary suites. So I shared a video a few weeks back where I started this process. So just as a reminder, this is what the room kind of looked like when we got started. And I wanted to kind of spruce it up, and I wanted to step out of my comfort zone on this one a little bit. So I wanted to bring in some color. I wanted to go with a more maximalist style, which is not um, a decor style that I normally gravitate to. And I wanted the room to tell a story. So those were my three main things that I wanted to do for this room. And so in today's video, I'm going to share with you how far I've come with the room and what I've done to the room thus far. So if you'd like to see how it's all coming together, keep watching. So in the last video where I uh, shared this room, I had switched out some of the art in here. And uh, so that was kind of like my starting point. I knew that I wanted multi-colors, lots of colors. So I got these two pieces. They were thrifted. I switched out those burgundy uh, window coverings and I put in these uh, flax linen um, draperies in the uh, natural color that I picked up from the... Potter, crate and Brow, barrel outlet. I replaced this lamp here for a thrifted lamp that I found and then I decided that the lampshade didn't work so I found a lampshade also at the thrift store in the red color just to bring in that color so I replaced that as well. And so over the past couple months actually I have been on the hunt for new things and so this is what I've landed on for this space. It is lively, it is colorful. I absolutely love it, even though, you know, this is not a style I would normally decorate with, but let's talk about what we've done here. So I am, I am in love with zebra print. I love all animal print, but zebra is having a moment right now for me. And so I found this rug on Amazon. It was $25, it was a clearance out. It said clearance on Amazon, which I had never seen before. But anyway, it was perfect for this space absolutely loved it and I don't know what it is but to me black and white just goes with the orange and I just love that combination so I paired that with this bedding that I got from Target uh, this is from the Jungalo line at Target and I bought that bolster pillow and I shared that a few weeks back and I really I just it, it just spoke to me so I got that Believe it or not, that pillow actually paired was paired with this particular comforter um, at Target. And I loved it from the beginning, but I wanted to look around and just kind of make sure. You know, I just didn't want to commit to it, but I kept coming back to this, which meant this was the one for me. I love the colors in it. I love how it plays off and kind of clashes but matches at the same time with that bolster pillow and then I had those burnt orange pillows already had those in my collection so I just thought I'd add those in just for a little bit of contrast and I got those pillow covers to match with the comforter set also from the jungle o line I got those in the standard pillow size and just put uh, standard pillow cushions in there love the little cut um fringe around the bottom of uh, this bedding. I just thought it was so pretty. I love the texture of it and everything. And you know, I said zebras are just having a moment with me right now. So I wanted a very large zebra painting, which I was not able to find, but I did find this poster on Amazon and I ordered it and I already had a frame in that size. So I just took that frame, kind of recycled it, did a little painting on it, and then put the poster in there. I'm still on the hunt for additional art for this space, but like I said, I want this room to tell a story, so I don't want to rush to tell that story. I want it to be really organic. I want me to take my time and not necessarily even be looking for it, but just kind of happen upon the rest of the art that I put in this space. So more to come, and I don't know when that will be because <laughs> we're going to just take it um, by ear there. This piece of art here I got from Ross and it was very, very cheap. I, I want to say it may have been $10.99. I thought it was really pretty and colorful. This fan here I bought from Amazon, but it was actually made in Burkina Faso, Africa. And I did Ancestry.com some years ago and traced my family history uh, or DNA back to Burkina Faso, Africa. So I wanted something in this room 
room to represent that. And I decided to put this fan here um, that, again, I got off of Amazon on here. So it has significance, and I really like that. And so, yeah, I got a globe here that I've already had. I've had this for a long time. I just decided to put that there. And because it is a guest suite, I decided to put a little water carafe there with some infused water with cucumbers. I've got uh, the Alexa uh, sitting there, or Echo, whatever you want to call her, sitting there. And then um, I already spoke about this lamp here that we thrifted that some time ago. Next to this uh, small bedside table, I have a faux plant plant there and it's in a um, container or planter that came from Aldi. Last week they had these on sale for $12.99. Very, very lightweight and everything, but I just thought it would be a cute little ad for this space. I want to probably put a bigger faux plant in here, but um, this is working for now. And then I just have some books underneath the shelf uh, here and also a candle. And this candle is from the Global Line at Home Goods. I think it was from um, Swatini, Africa. Um, and the black and white I just felt was a good ad. I just love the, the black and white. Those are my signature colors. So whatever I decorate with, I'm probably going to have those pops of black and white in there. This furniture in this room is very old and it was not purchased for this home. It was purchased for another home some time ago. So it's really too large for this space. Um, but we're just making it work because what I won't be doing is buying new furniture for this room. Not right now anyway. So anyway, I have uh, some Bird of Paradise that I I brought out. I love to bring those out typically in the summer, but because I was working on this um, room, I just decided to bring it in because I thought the colors were really nice. And then the other thing that I did here was replace the ceiling fan. The ceiling fan that I had in here was really old. It was the builder grade. It had the little cords hanging down and I just could not stand it. I was so excited to get uh, rid of that. I found one relatively inexpensive at Lowe's and I just picked it up and uh, it runs by remote control and it controls the light and the lamp and so yeah it just worked for the space i really really liked the way that that kind of um modernized the space a little bit even though i have older traditional style furniture in here i wanted to kind of bring it up to date a little bit and then i have this um faux plant or tree or whatever i got this from the thrift store some time ago and just because I had this spray paint, I decided to <laughs> paint the planter uh, that it was in. It was like this dull gold color, which would have been perfectly fine. It really didn't need anything, but I had this orange paint on hand and I just wanted to use it. <laughs> so these... Um, pieces of art here are pieces that I brought back from my travels. I spoke about that in the first video um, when I was working in this room. So I just decided to give them a moment and bring them out and sit them here. I also found this little container here that I had gotten from uh, Social Milco, Mexico some years ago. Just decided to bring that out. Just a little box for little knickknacks or whatever. Um, never really used it for anything because it's too small. And then this little uh, doll here is something I bought back from Bahia. Um, Brazil some years ago. She's broken. I need to um, glue her back here, but she was handmade there. And so I just decided to bring her out because she has the colors and everything. And so it was a good time to kind of display her. This was a very low spin project. Um, the splurge items, if you will, were, of course, the bedding and the ceiling fan. Most everything else was uh, thrifted. So um, that is definitely the way to go if you are redoing a space and you have limited funds. You know, that's a good way to do it and come up with something very, very nice, but, um, you know, not break the bank. And so I really like that. This piece of art, my granddaughter made. So again, no spin there. There. The rug, like I said, was only $25. So that was good. And because it is a guest room, I wanted to have a luggage rack because if you have guests from out of town, they will have luggage. And so even though this is a small space, that's something that you need to have. So even if they were to pull that into the hallway, which would be perfectly fine, we needed to have it on hand. So yeah, this is what the room is looking like. And I'm loving the way that it's coming together so far. I still, like I said, have more work to do on it. But but I think I'm off to a great start and I really like that um, I kind of went in a different direction in this room. It's kind of nice to kind of do something different. This room makes me smile and sometimes change is good.
Now, I must say that even though this room was done in a totally different decor style than I am used to, I am really enjoying it. I had a lot of fun playing around with different colors, different textures, layering things, and more importantly, creating a space that tells my story. So, um, yeah, if you've enjoyed this video or if you found it inspirational or gotten any type of decorating tips for things that you might want to do in your home, please don't leave today without hitting that subscribe button, first of all, so that we can stay connected. Also hit that post notification bell so that you're notified each time I upload videos. And also hit that like button and comment below and let me know what was your favorite part of this transformation and what you think of all these different prints and colors and everything because at least for me i was always taught to make things matchy 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 so it's really fun to kind of step out of that because it does not have to match to look good and if there are things that you like, you can put them down and use them together. It does not matter. Your home is a place where you should be happy, you should be comfortable, and it should make you smile. So where whatever the colors are, the textures, the patterns, they can clash, they can do whatever you want them to do. <laughs> so if I did nothing else, I hope that I inspired you to kind of step out of your comfort zone. But anyway, enough blabbing for now. I am done with this space, at least for now. I'm going to have my eyes open for the rest of the art that I want to fill this room in, but that's nothing that I'm going to rush because I'm truly trying to tell a story. And so I want to take my time and be thoughtful and intentional with whatever else that I do put into this space, but I'm loving the direction that I'm going in. So I hope that you will um, subscribe and I hope that you will all come back over here for my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.